So the IRS said that they were doing these stimulus check payments every single week until everybody gets it. This week, there were supposed to be more payments going out. And I have gotten some comments from you guys saying that you've received your check. And some of you said that you were supposed to get a direct deposit on the 22nd, but it ended up showing as a paper check in your mail. So if you're somebody that hasn't checked your mail, go ahead and check it, it might be in there. And there's also a lot of comments saying that you haven't received your check, the get my payment status is not working for you. So in this video, I'll go over the latest updates from the IRS. There's two very important updates. I think that's gonna answer a lot of questions. And I've also been getting questions around the timelines for SSI, for Social Security, and for everybody else. So at the end of this video, I'll also go over the timeline and when the IRS is projecting everybody's gonna get their checks. First update is really important because I think it answers the question around get my payment information. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this. First of all, they can't lock in or they get locked out or the payment status just never updates at all and i've been saying a lot of the times that this is due to a software issue and i think this is just due to the site not working properly and the irs has finally acknowledged that and in fact they're planning on fixing the site in three days right now on the irs site it says that there's planned outages april 23rd 24th and 25th the site will be unavailable starting 10 p.m eastern until approximately 1 a.m due to planned maintenance on April 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So from this, I assume that they know about the issues and they're trying to fix it and they're trying to update it. And they're doing that from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. on those three days. I'm hoping around the same time, not only do they address the issues with their sites, but they also load in more people. So right now, the people that are non-filers in the file late, I don't think they're in the system just yet, but after this update, I'm hoping they're in there. So if you go into the site on the 26th, you should see a new update and hopefully things will work better because that's when the IRS said they're gonna be fixing the site. The second update is actually for people that used either TurboTax, H&R Block, or one of those tax repairing agencies to do their taxes and they got their refund through them. So right now they have a new frequently asked questions they, they put in there on April 21st. And in there they said that when you filed your tax return, if you chose a refund settlement product for direct deposit purposes, you may have received a prepaid debit card. In some cases, your economic impact payment may have been directed to that bank account associated with the refund settlement product or prepaid card. So this means that if you're somebody that used TurboTax, H&R Block, or some sort of tax repairing agency, and you got your refund on a prepaid card, you can expect your economic impact payment to be on that same card. And I did have some people comment and say that they checked their H&R Block debit card and that their payment was on there. So if you haven't already checked your prepaid debit cards, that's the first place you should be looking. But it goes on to say that the IRS also noted that there was a reporting error that started showing up in recent days on Get My Payment, which inaccurately indicated rejected payments were being sent back to the same taxpayer account a second time. So I think a lot of you already mentioned this to me, but uh, the issue around this is, first of all, you got your money sent to your tax preparer agency, they rejected it and sent back to the IRS, and it showed up on your status that the IRS was sending it back to the same tax preparer agency for them to reject it again. But the IRS is saying now that that was actually a mistake on their reporting end, that they're actually gonna be mailing the check and not resending it to the tax preparer agencies. So it seems like a lot of the checks are coming by mail instead of direct deposit, at least until they fix this get my payment information site. So I think that's the two most important updates from the IRS. I hope this answers some of your questions and some of your frustrations around the get my payment information system. I know the system has been causing a lot of issues for most of you. I hope this clears it up. Right now, before I get into the timeline of when the checks are being sent, if you guys are completely new to this channel and you wanna support this channel, the best way to do that is by hitting the like button on this video. And if you wanna subscribe, you can also do that right down here. So now it's time to update you guys on the timeline of when these checks are supposed to get to people. So for those of you that are wondering, these timelines are from the IRS themselves. So if you guys are curious where I'm getting this information from, I will put it in the description and you can go look at it for yourself. So the first update is for SSI. The IRS has said that people who receive SSI will automatically get a $1,200 economic impact payment, no action required, they can expect their money from IRS in May. This is straight from the IRS Twitter and they tweeted this yesterday, so it's as updated as you can get. 
Right now they're saying that you can expect it in May, but they really don't give any timeline at all outside of that. So it could be early May, it could be late May, we really don't know. And I think they're being vague on purpose. So the next people are people on social security and social security website says that treasury expects automatic payments for social security beneficiaries no later than the end of April. Again, they're being very vague about this. They're saying the end of April. So this could be next week, it could be this week. We really don't know, but that's the timeline for SSI and social security. For SSI, it's gonna be May. For social security, it's gonna be end of April, maybe early May, we really don't know, but that's what the IRS and the social security site are saying. And for those of you that filed your 2018 or your 2019 tax return, the IRS Twitter actually says that eligible people who file taxes for 2019 or 2018 will automatically get an economic impact payment from the IRS in the next three weeks. This was updated on April 22nd. All they said is the next three weeks, they don't really give a timeline. But the Washington Post actually goes further in detail and they said they talked to the IRS and this is what they're projecting for the timeline to be. The IRS plan would distribute paper checks to the lowest income Americans first, prioritizing payments for individual taxpayers with incomes of $10,000 or less on April 24th. Checks for earners of $20,000 or less will be in the mail May 1st, followed by those incomes of $30,000 on May 8th, $40,000 on May 15th, and continuing to income increments of $10,000 each week according to the plan. The IRS plans to issue about 5 million checks per week. So if you guys are curious what that breakdown looks like by month and by adjusted gross income, I'll put this link in the description. The Motley Fool did a great job of breaking it down. I have gotten a lot of comments from you guys saying that you want me to respond to comments quicker, Plus you want me to update videos even faster. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible, but it is kind of hard with thousands of comments to reply to every single one of them. Plus I'm working full time. YouTube is not my full time job. I do have a nine to five that I have to report to. So I'm trying to get these videos as quickly as to you guys as possible. And I only do updates when there is new information. So if you guys found this video helpful, it really helped me out if you guys hit that like button on this video. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do that right over here. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.